What's up everybody, thank you for tuning in to the channel on the Stone Mandalorian. And I got a very awesome, I'm honored to do this figure review. And honestly, I've been sleeping on this figure for a while now. I've It's been on Amazon for quite a few months, like four, five, six months for 14 bucks, 15 bucks. And I just kept, I just kept pushing it off, pushing it off. I was gonna save it for when I needed to push an order over shipping or something. And um, lost the gillet, that movie. Sorry, that was my dog chasing one of my cats. Anyways, so it was up for like 14 bucks these past couple months and I kept wanting to pull the trigger so bad, but I just got that, I just got a job with the hut and that kind of swamped out my Black Series budget for the month. So I haven't really bought anything else since I got Java because I paid a little more for him than I wanted, but still happy to have him. But RIP to the great Carl Weathers, uh, who I remember first remember as a kid seeing him i forget the name of his character but he was in the movie predator uh with arnold schwarzenegger and he was also apollo he was he was apollo in the fucking rocky movies and i remember watching those growing up and just i was really saddened to hear the news of him um especially because i've, I've had this figure in my save for later list for months now and i i wanted uh I wanted to pull a trigger on this figure because just in the two days, four days after he passed away, he passed away on February 1st, this year of 2024, his figure already went up from 14 to 17 bucks. So paid three more dollars for him than what I initially could have got for him. But, you know, I'm still thankful to have him on the shelf. But I've already seen some people putting stuff on eBay for this figure and they're asking like 50, 65 dollars. It's just like, it's just so crazy, man. I don't know what's worse, like him passing away or people trying to capitalize off his death. It's it's both equally fucked up, but it just really pisses me off. And I don't know, it's it's just really, it's really scummy to me. And it, I just, I just can't stand it. But anyways, let me get, stay away from the negativity. It's always, try to, try to think positively as much as you can. So let's get back and focus on the figure. And uh, I love the box. This is a really... Beautiful artwork of Carl Weathers here, a grief cargo, and his magistrate get up. I'll try to get a closer look. So this is a very, very nice picture of him. Very good art. And I really dig the side right here as well. Just very nice. So just uh, looking at this art, it's got a little blemish here in the box around the face, so it might look kind of weird. Oh, no, it actually doesn't. Well, yeah, you can kind of see it, but not that bad. So, anyways, I really do, I've been wanting this figure, like, I, I feel bad for sleeping on it so long, because I actually, this one is way better, I was not buying that season one version, because the likeness was terrible, I did not, I do not think it looks like Carl Weathers at all, this one is much better, and I actually really dig his outfit here, I'm not one, I'm not one that favors elegant type dress attire, but he looks pretty fly in this, man. This this get-up robe thing he's got going on, I really like the red color. The yellow on the inside of the robe itself is very nice, and the sculpting on the robe as well is, is nice. So, yeah, man, just this one is so much better than the Season 1 version of Grief to Me. And unfortunately, because of his death, that's I hate to even be like that, but that's ultimately what made me jump on it because I didn't want it to jump up in price too much. But I'm really glad I've been... Like I said, I've been wanting him for months, so it was just time, man. So let me get him out of the box, and we'll take a closer look. And here is High Grief, High Magistrate Grief Carga out of the package, and looks pretty awesome. I'm not gonna lie, I had a, I had a hell of a, I don't, it might just be me, and this figure is just kind of stiff, but I had a hell of a time just even attempting to get him to stand, dude. And I was trying to get him in like a, kind of like a standing position where his like hands were like out on his hips a little bit. Kind of like the Superman pose. Um, and it just like, raising his shoulders up just raises this uh, this hard plastic, his, his jacket over and it makes it look wonky. It's like it's raised on one side of his shoulder and it makes the, you'll see what I'm saying here in a minute when I get to articulation, but it makes this piece look really crooked and just off. I kind of wish they would have went with, uh, with some soft goods for his cape, for his, his jacket, but it does look good. I like the way it looks like the sculpt work on the jacket is nice. It's just like, I guess the execution isn't there because you, you go to put up, raise up his arm and it just kind of, it's, it's a, uh, it doesn't inhibit the shoulder articulation per se, but it does make the jacket he's wearing look a little wonky and kind of raises it up on his shoulders and 
it just doesn't fit, lay very well on his shoulders. Where if it was soft goods, I feel like it would lay a lot better and have a little more of a flow to it. But that being said, the sculpt of the of the jacket is cool, and I really dig the kind of red undersuit with the brown color of the gloves and the jacket, and this red trim on the back of his jacket here, his robes. The gold also looks really nice. The sculpting on the front of the jacket, that gold on the belt. I really dig the yellow on the inside of the jacket. I feel like it makes the the red and the brown on the rest of the figure pop and on his uh, costume. And it's just, just a really good looking figure, man. I feel like this one, this one definitely serves more justice to Carl Weathers than the season one version. And I think he was born in 48 or 49. Yeah, it was 48. He was born in 1948 because it's the same year my grandmother was born. And uh, yeah, so it's very unfortunate he passed. I wonder how his death is going to affect the Mandalorian and uh, Grogu movie. Because um, I'm, I'm sure he was going to be a big part of that. I mean, he's been a pretty essential part of season one, two, and three. I would assume he was going to be a crucial part to the movie as well. So I'm wondering how that's going to affect the movie or the writing. Are they going to decide to uh, kill him off? Are they going to try to CGI him and get permission from his family? And, you know, not really sure where that's going to go. So it kind of definitely a bummer because I've, uh, you know, I'm not like a huge fan of Carl Weathers, but I am a fan of him nonetheless, man. He's kind of like a part of my childhood ever since watching Predator, you know, in the Rocky movies. Again, not a huge fan of... I can't tell you, I can't recite the lines of the Rocky movies like I can Star Wars, but most people have seen the Rocky movies, just a very nostalgic part of pop culture. But Carl Weathers, has been, he's, he's been around for a minute, man. He's made a lot of movies, been in some TV shows, and just, it, it's very sad to lose anybody. But for a person like this, and anybody he acted with or worked with always had good things to say about him, so I'm sure it's... Uh, Hope his family can find some peace during this time, that's for sure. But enough about that. Uh, it's very unfortunate of his to hear of his death. He lived a long career. May he rest in peace. And let's get back to looking at this figure and go over some of the articulation and, and the paint and all that good stuff. So getting a closer look at Grieve Carga here. I really do think this outfit is dope. The yellow and the gold and the red and brown all really pop and go together quite well. Very good, cool color scheme here. The designers they, that did this outfit were, were thinking fire. Some nice trim on the top of the jacket here. Looks very nice. Red. Very nice. The sculpt of the cape is not bad. Not a big fan of hard plastic. I, I'd much prefer soft goods. And the color on the inside, that's a, just a very interesting, very, very like royal color, color yellow. And it just complements the rest of the figure really nicely. The face, face look, the likeness is very nice as well. Get a closer look here. So yeah, a little bit of a little bit of shiny face here. You could always hit that with some matte spray, but I haven't done that with any of my figures yet. But not too bad. Not like some. That likeness is really nice. The beard and the scruff is definitely there. The hair is nice. Got some good texture. The back of the jacket here. Nice trim, good paint. Very clean. This gold right here, a little bit of brown on right there, but the gold looks really nice. Sculpting on the jacket on the jacket itself, very nice. Got some good texture to it. Goes all the way down the front of the jacket as well. Got some good, cool sculpting on the gloves, too. With the belt, nice, cleanly applied gold right there. There's the holster, which is kind of cool. It's just like, just, just like how it was in, I believe it was season, uh, season three, I believe. And he can get to his blaster real easy, so that's very nice. It was a little bit of a... A little bit of a pain to get that blaster in there. You got to kind of pull the cape back, but it's in there, and I'll pull that out in a minute. Cool sculpting on the pants too. Got some nice texture on the pants here. Boots look good. Some nice folds and creases as well. And got the holster. Very nice. Nothing, nothing much to it. Just 
Definitely resembles a leather look to it, so that's nice, very smooth. This is an overlay, so that's that's movable. Wraps around his leg. I'll try to get a little look at the back here. Got some gray up under here on his back, the belt. Got his vest here. Yeah, very nice, man. Glad to finally own this figure. I really like this this like red, like kind of kind of offish red, washed red look. We do have thigh swivel here. I'm a big fan of thigh swivel. I like it. And he can kick out pretty far. Get this focus back in. He can kick out quite a bit. And get. A little bit below 90 for the leg. Very nice. Got knee swivel as well. I really dig the texture on, the, on his pants, actually. Got some very deep cut ankles. Look at that. Look at that cut right there. Very deep. So he can go get this jacket out of the way. He can go that far up and he can go that far down. And he's got rockers as well. So quite a bit of ankle articulation, good articulation in the legs as well. Get him into a split. That's about as, without stressing it too much, not too bad. And we can get, I checked the kickback on this figure, this robe. I really do not care for this hard plastic. Got some pretty good kickback. It's kind of hard to, that's about as far as the kickback as it can go. So some pretty decent kickback. Not bad at all. Not bad at all. Looks like we got a double neck peg in here. Moves right here at the base of the skull and at the neck. So you can get a little bit of head tilt out of there. You can look up a decent amount. You can look down a little bit. I know you can look down a good bit, actually. Look up, down. Oh, down, very nice. Cool, so let me try to get to his blaster here because that was a that was a job getting this thing in here, man. <laughs> so here is his blaster, and I do not know what kind of blaster this is. If you do, comment down below. I would appreciate knowing. I can always do a Google, but if y'all can tell me, that'd be cool too. Got a gray plastic here. I don't know if, if this is in the line or not, this this mold, or if this is just for grief, but not a bad little sculpt. Let's see if I can get a little zoom in on that. There we go. So, I need to get me some tweezers or something. So my big sausage fingers don't get in the way so y'all can actually see the accessories, but it's got a Nice gray plastic to it. Do y'all hear my cat right now? <laughs> like what? Uh, I, I just kind of left off the figure. Go back, get back to the articulation. I got caught up with the accessory, which is his only accessory. But his shoulders now you can kind of see. See how it looks kind of puffy on his on his shoulders. I don't know if you can tell, but like raise it down. See now that's. See what I'm saying? It's not bad or anything. It's no big deal. But it just kind of looks a little wonky. Doesn't really want to lay evenly. There he is with his shoulders even. So, But you can, you can, however, get a full T out of him. Good T. The elbows, you can get right at 90. Yeah, about right at 90. Maybe a tad bit under. He's got... Two trigger fingers, which is interesting. Try to zoom in on that for you guys and gals. Trigger finger on the left hand. It's been 360 degrees, and I think it's vertical hinges. Yep, we got vertical hinges on the left hand. Trigger finger. And a trigger finger on the right hand. Spins all the way around. And we got vertical hinge here as well. Vertical hinges on both hands. I'm I, I'm a, I'm a fan of this single joint articulation. The way that the fold, see how that folds right there. I just like the way that looks. 
very clean. It looks good. But yeah, that's a, not a bad figure, man. Not not nothing to go crazy about, but I'm just finally happy to have Grief on the shelf. I've been waiting too long, and I hate that it... I feel bad that it took his death for me to finally buy this figure, but nonetheless, I'm very happy that I have it. It it's, looks pretty nice, man. Really dig this costume, and uh, I'm going to miss his character in The Mandalorian. So, that uh, you know, rest in peace, Carl. Thank you for all the entertainment over the years. One more thing I wanted to mention. I've noticed, like, the hands on this figure, I don't know if this is, I feel like they started doing this, but the fingers, are. I feel like they're a different plastic because these fingers are very malleable, and it was so easy to get his blaster in his hand. Whereas, like, some of the older figures, you have to, like, pry their freaking hand open, and you can start to see it stress the plastic. It gets kind of white on the inside of the hands. They're kind of like it's doing there. But as soon as you, it gains the color back. But this is, feels like a different plastic on the hands. I don't know if that's, Something they implemented, or if it's just me, but if you do know, let me know. I'd appreciate it. See, there's the pose I was really wanting to put him in, but the jacket just kind of raises on his shoulders a little bit. It looks a little buffy. It didn't look terrible, but I, I wish that it would sit a little straighter and just kind of lay on his shoulders a bit better. But it doesn't look bad by any means. So I'm going to do a couple side by side comparisons here. And to start things off, I've got Grogu and Mando next to Grief Carter. Now we got Grief next to the Mandalorian version of Ahsoka. Here's Grief next to Chrysanthemum. Now we got the Death Watch Mandalorian next to him. And finally, to end things off here, we got Grief standing next to the Dark Trooper. So that wraps up this figure review. I appreciate y'all tuning in to the channel and. I was very honored to do this figure review. I'm very un unfortunate to hear of Carl Weathers passing. And uh, like I said numerous times in this this video, I really do dig this costume for grief for his character. And also very much enjoyed his character in The Mandalorian. And, you know, very, very disheartening to hear of his passing. So I just really enjoyed his character, man. But this is a very decent figure. The one thing I can say is this get rid of this plastic cape some soft goods would have really been dope to see on this figure i think it would have helped articulation a lot more um, but the articulation that being said is not terrible it's a very decent articulated figure by many means so super happy to have it on the shelf if you haven't picked this guy up yet you may want to before all these scalpers start they're already starting to bump the prices up so you may want to snag one of these while prices are low um Knowing how the Black Series can go sometimes, I would hate to see this go up to like 65, 80 bucks just because of his passing, which is very unfortunate. So thank you all for tuning into this channel. I appreciate you watching. I was very excited to do this review. Very happy to have him on the shelf. And I hope you're all, all having a good day or night whenever you're watching this. May the force be with you. Thank you. Mando. They all hate you, Mando. Mando. Ah, Mando. They all hate you, Mando.